So the car is in manual mode now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, um, you, it's a game controller, but that's how we uh, uh, enable the autonomous mode. So when I do that, uh, it takes control and steering wheel and accelerator is all on its own. And it's gonna <laughs> follow our pre-recorded route, which I okay. intentionally put really close to this um, tripod here, just to, to show that we can pass by it repeatedly. Okay. It was more fun when you had it going five kilometers an hour faster. <laughs> <laughs> fun is a relative word. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, are vehicles. we going to hit them? Yeah, there's more vehicles here than there was. Oh, so is it sensing that now? Uh, um, or or is it going to stick on the predetermined path? It was going to stick on the predetermined path, so. So you took control? I did. I did <laughs> take control. Thank you. <laughs> so, so right now what we're using to feed like it's a choice on where it goes is just the GPS positioning so Slow it doesn't have again. the other sensors feeding that to say oh there's an obstacle in my way I need to break mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of you know set up in the ideal case of it's just me and the coordinates and how am I moving around them um, and then the next part you have to layer on is, is when your conditions change and you've got somebody else in the environment with you yeah. So that's the other thing I can show you is the all the sensors. We can visualize them on the screen as well to see what the cameras and the LiDAR and the radar all sees. So there's four basic visual sensors here. We have radar, which is uh, a more coarse detection but longer range. So that's these green bars here. And that's used really for um, object detection when you need to brake. Cars have those in them today for parking assistance and things, but this one's more powerful for a larger range. Uh, the lines, uh, the circular lines, are from the LiDAR, um, and that uses light instead of radio signals to do the same kind of ranging. Uh, the one we have has 16 lasers in it that spin around and give you more of an actual 360 degree view of what you can see. Um, they call it a point cloud, and here you can see enough resolution that you can make out the, uh, the people standing there and moving around. Oh, look at um, that, you can too. So L LiDAR kind of bridges the gap where it's now um, got enough points where you can actually do object recognition so you can say that's a person or that's a car stop sign um, and then you've got the cameras as well of course which which you can identify objects from as well so that